Uh, and ladies and gentlemen, we are coming up on 655. If you ask if you are in the back to start making your way towards your seat, the bar will remain open for the entirety of this event. It's a fun for a Friday night. We're going to get everything underway on time, so if you are making your way to your seat, we appreciate each and every one of you coming out as we raise our power cards high for the Boys and Girls Club of Missoula County. Thank you.
the No Charge Paddle Wave. There you go. Got your attention. We appreciate each and every one of you for coming out. This is the fourth annual, not one, not two, not three, but fourth annual Blue Dog Banquet. Yeah, there are many ways you can choose to give tonight. Of course, during the silent auction, which, well, mind you, the silent auction is still going on. You can text BBB24 to 71760. That's Boyd Dog Boy 24 to 71760. Now, if you already bid on something, you're going to be getting alerts and text alerts through the night. So you don't have to get up. This is really nice technological events. We're going to give a big shout out to the entire volunteer crew that helped put tonight together. Let's give them a big round of applause. Now, how many of you are aware tonight of the grand prize? Okay, so there's a caveat that I'm going to warn you all about. If you win the grand prize, which is a chess full of record, you may have a bunch of people falling your home now. Just tell me. Party in your house, yeah. Chess full of liquor is the grand prize. We also have a stay at a beautiful cabin right on the Clark Fork River next to Queens Hot Springs. How about that? That's also coming up tonight. That is a fun trip. So, Bill and Rick wave once more time. They're over here to my left, your right. Now, $25 for one ticket, five tickets for $100. You can't go wrong. If you would like them to come get a ticket, just raise your hand. They will make their way to you. Or as dinner goes on, you can also make your way to them. Okay. Also, the sign auction, once again, that goes until 7.45. You can use your phones to continue to bid it from your seat. And of course, the live auction and cattle call will be coming up later on. Brian from the Jewelry Design Center. Let's give him a big round of applause in the back corner. Man. Now, this is a pretty cool deal. You ready for this? Who would like a little champagne to toast into your Friday night weekend? That's right. Purchase a white champagne fruit from the Jewelry Design Station Center, and the glass gets filled with champagne. Oh, but wait, there's more. It's $50 per entry, only $100 or 100 entries total, and you have your chance to win a two-carat total weight, 14 carat white gold pair of diamond earrings, valued at three. Dollars, ladies and gentlemen. And here's the good news: you can buy more than one answer. Brian, lift your hand really high. Now, if you would like one of our fabulous volunteers to bring you a champagne filled fruit, raise your hot hand, raise your hand, so that we can come around to you. We're not, we're not going anywhere until we sell all of those. That was the deal. I was just told that. So we gotta, gotta make sure to sell those out. Fifty dollars. Okay, seriously, uh, gentlemen, can I get, gentlemen in the crowd, Christmas is only three months away. Fifty bucks. Come in, property and development, let's give them a big round of applause. <laughs> Melissa, who's from Rex Exit? changes tonight. We're in the wall office. Are you guys here? Also, First Montana Bank. First Security Bank. And Trail West Bank. Our club changers, Beartown Bookkeeping and Tax LLC. Rockford Communications. The Good Food Store, Stockman Bank. Maybe we should have a shout off between Trail West and Stockman and see how it goes. Game Changer, Buffalo Wild Wings Foundation. How about Claremont Credit Union? The Double K Ranch Deli. Garden City Property Management. Man Mortgage. Also, how about a big shout out to these folks for getting us through that storm a couple of months ago. Missoula Electric Co-op. Tidal Services Inc. Pete's 
Electric Inc. And the Washington Companies. Also a fabulous DJ Ryan Bradshaw Media over here. And so many, Marcus and Austin running the projector, they're gonna keep us going. Eliana, our photographer. And then, events by Autumn. Autumn, I know you're in here somewhere. Oh, you're right to my left. We appreciate each and every one of you. Also, Mission Bistro, they're keeping us fed tonight. Let's give them a big show. Okay. So we mentioned this earlier. The house is divided into four different segments. Puff or Puff, you're in yellow. Gryffindor, you're in red. Ravenclaw, you're in blue. And Slayer, you're in green. But I can tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. The group that organized this auction, they were thinking, they said, you know what? We're going to make it a bidding war between all the different houses. So here's the way this is going to work. Throughout the night, they're going to be giving me tallies of what your house is raised, and you'll be awarded points. And the house with the most points at the end of the night, well, let's just say you have a special prize waiting for you. Without further ado, if I can have it quiet in the house real quick, we've got a very special presentation. Our board president was not able to be here tonight, however, she did leave us a very special message. Let's turn cue up that video now from board president Kristen Sandler. Oh, 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 oh. Hello, fellow Muggles, Kristen Sacky here, the board president of the Boys and Girls Club of Missoula County. I want to say thank you so much for being with us this evening and coming out and supporting our organization. I am so sorry that I cannot be there with you this evening. I am in Seattle for the Triwizard Tournament as the sole Muggle representative, so while I'm not physically there, I'm absolutely there in spirit. and. Uh, it, just want to thank you for coming out and enjoying this evening so far. Hopefully you're having an amazing time. I have no doubt that you are. Um, I want to say thank you for um, coming to the table day after day, month after month, year after year. I know many of you have been longtime supporters of our organization and continue to show up and, and really show us that you care about what we do and what we do for the community. It's really important for us to provide a safe and welcoming place um, and a sense of belonging for our kiddos and our community. And through your support um, we are able to do that and we continue to push the envelope and continue to help open doors to great futures it's so important that our organization continue to thrive and continue to show up for those who need us most in our community so we could not do that without your support without your help without your guidance without your connections without any of that it's, it truly takes a village to create um, the space and create what we have going on in our organization um, I have been involved with the organization for six years now um, and it's been such a journey uh, I never expected to be in the position I'm in and I'm super honored that I have been in the position of president for three years now, um, guiding us through um, changes and needs and all of that. I've learned so much and I learned more from the staff than they probably learned from me, which I hope is true. <laughs> um, and I just warms my heart to see how hard the staff works. They continue to come together, they continue to find ways to do the good things in our community, they continue to be creative. They continue to be resourceful. Uh, they continue to uh, just really amaze me um, with everything that they do. So if you see a staff member at this evening, please pull them aside. Please thank them. Uh, truly, uh, this organization doesn't run um, itself. And if anybody has worked in nonprofits or been involved in nonprofits, you know how hard uh, a nonprofit staff works. So truly, I am inspired by them. Them. I am, am honored to know all of them. I am sad I won't be around them as often anymore as I come into the last few months. 
of my tenure on the board, um, but I know it won't be the last of me getting to know these amazing individuals, so thank you so much to all them. Um, truly, I wish I could give them all a hug because I know um, how hard they work for this evening and how hard they work all year round. Um, so please, if you could give them a hug for me, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, I want to just say also to the board members in the room, thank you for everything that you do. I have gotten to know so many of you over the years, um, even former board members who I know who are in the room. Uh, I am honored to know each and every one of you. I learned from all of you. I am a better president because of you. I am a better uh, professional because of you. Um, so thank you. Uh, this isn't the last of me, so I, I can't wait to see all of you um, in a different capacities or continue to work with you down the road. So thank you to all the board members. Thank you to the staff. Um, but again, thank you to all of you in this room who have chosen to come spend your evening with us. Truly, we could not um, continue to do the things we do without your, your support. Um, it really means the world to us. It means a lot to the kiddos, even though they don't know you and they don't understand the connection. You are making strong, um, necessary connections in our community um, by through your support. So again, I want to say thank you for coming out tonight. I wish I could be there to thank each and every one of you in person, um, but I hope that I get to do that down the road um, and in future events because I'm certainly not going anywhere. I will be around. I just won't be officially a board member anymore, which is so weird to say. So, again, please enjoy the evening. Please find um, please find the, the um, Find the words to thank a staff member, thank a fellow board member, um, and find um, find the the way to warm our hearts through your support this evening. So uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for um, your continued support. I hope to see you again soon. Uh, have a wonderful time this evening. I will turn this over to Melissa, our next board president, and I will hope to see you all soon. Thank you so much. Kristen Sackett, there we go. Thank you so much. All right. An evening like this would not be complete without a little magic, and we are excited to have with us a multi-award-winning magician, singer, and actor who is a magician member of the world-famous Magic Castle out of Hollywood. He's been spotted on the Food Network with Penn & Teller, Season 12 of America's Got Talent. In 2022, he took second place in the world in the Magic Castle's Strolling Magic Showdown. He has been eye for eye alongside John Savage. Tall Tales of Jim Bridger just recently filmed Mr. Pettigrew alongside Eric Roberts and is featured in the documentary Con Artist Unveiled that just released on a multitude of streaming platforms, including Prime. Please welcome, without further ado, our very own Evan Disney.
special thanks once again, Mission Bistro there, working hard to get everybody their meal. We appreciate them. Let's give them a big one more round of applause. Okay, we are fast approaching 7.30, and once again, coming up at 7.45, the silent auction closes. You will be getting text alerts. Now, we mentioned the house competition earlier. We will award five points to the highest cumulative bidding house in the silent auction once it closes. So once again, the house with the most points at the end of the night wins a special prize. So the silent auction closes coming up at 745. Without further ado, I would like to introduce Kisha Hal Halverson to the stage to prevent presenting Doug Lawrence Club Champion Award. Kisha, take it away. Justin first. Let's give it up for Justin. She's just as Fleur, it's Katie Holman. Um, she used to be our CEO when I first started five years ago. And she, along with the board at that time, so shout out to like Anne and Doug, and Chelsea was on the board as well, looked past their prejudices, or potential prejudices, and took a chance hiring, at the time, a director of youth development, me, when I was just 25, a young female, and gave me the greatest career opportunity um, of, of my life. So, yeah, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for all. Um, one more thing I want to shout out because I am on the operations side. What we at Boys and Girls Club call moments like this, where people are honored for their work, is recognition. And that is one of the five key elements that we use when we are taking care of the youth. Um, it is so important to take time to celebrate the progress that not only our kids make while they're at Boys and Girls Club, but the employees as we grow and develop in our, our professional careers. So I'm so honored and grateful to be getting this recognition tonight. Um, and I think I'm going to turn it back over to you, and we're going to do a little more recognition and call out some of our sponsors for the evening. Thank you very much. Thank you again for being out here today. Okay, gotta hold that first. Uh, so it's my great honor to speak to you all about the incredible impact of our club and how it affects the lives of youth and recognize the dedication of our community and supporting all this vital work, which is for you all, thank you. Um, so at the club, we believe in the power of opportunity, mentorship, and safe spaces. So here at club, children find a way to find a home away from home and a place where they can grow and learn, develop and discover their potential. Whether that's through uh, educational programs, creative arts, sports, whatever, we ensure that every child has a chance to shine and really build a bright future. So our programs are designed not just to educate, uh, but also to inspire. So we really cultivate a sense of belonging to, with our members and empowerment and making sure they become responsible, caring citizens. To the point, none of this would be possible without all of the support and leadership and vision of our board of directors. And so to those board members, uh, your Tyler's work behind the scenes 
uh, ensures that we can continue to serve all these communities of, and children with excellence and compassion. So thank you for your support and your, all, all of your efforts to our board. So tonight we also celebrate the generosity of our sponsors. Um, these partners who con whose contributions make our work possible. We literally would not be here without you, so thank you for that. Um, we're gonna go through these and extend our deepest gratitude to each of you, uh, but starting with our Club Kid for Life sponsors, and that is Dick Anderson Construction. <laughs> Melissa Hoos of Exit Realty. and Bonner Property Development. You all have been extraordinary in your support, and it's my pleasure to, not personally, because Keja is bringing them around and Bailey, uh, but to present you all with plaques commemorating your enduring commitment to our club and our mission. Thank you again. To our future change sponsors, that it is, it's a lot of banks, so hold on. Trail West. First Montana Bank. First Security Bank. And Kaliba Law Offices. So again, to each of you, your contributions help us envision a future where every child has the opportunity to thrive. Thank you so, so much for that. Uh, we'll also be passing plaques out to you individually. That's exactly Okay. So our club changer sponsors, and that is Beartown Bookkeeping and Tax. Chelsea is also our accountant, so double thank you to Chelsea. Uh, Blackfoot Communications. Good Food Store. And Stockman Bank. Stockman Bank in the house. Thank you sincerely for your partnership and ongoing support. Very, very much. Thank you. Uh, to our Game Changer sponsors. First of all, the Buffalo Wild Wings Foundation. Clearwater Credit Union. Double K Ranch Deli. Garden City Property Management. Man Mortgage. Missoula Electric Cooperative. <laughs> Title Services Inc. <laughs> Pete's Electric Inc. <laughs> and the Washington Companies. We are so, so grateful for your partnership and continued support as we strive to reach more kids in the community. So thank you very, very much. And finally, just a special thanks to Ann Vandermeer, Doug Lawrence, and special thanks to Nandi Kovats, and that's all through Missoula Adventure Programs. They partner with us every year to do really fantastic camping trips for our after school club and for our summer program, so thank you all very much for that. So to every sponsor, every supporter, all of our friends here tonight, every one of you plays a crucial role in making our vision a reality. Because of everybody in this room, because of you, we're able to provide a safe, nurturing environment for all children in our community to grow, to learn, and succeed. Thanks so much for believing in us and believing in them. Thank you all. Let's give it up one more time for Justin and Keisha. Thank you. Okay, let's get a time check. 7.33 on the clock, and that means we got 12 minutes to go before... That's right, 12 minutes until silent auction closes. Now, 
Once again, I want to remind you all, the house competition in 12 minutes, we're going to find out shortly thereafter which house is awarded the first five points. Will it be your house? Who's in the house? We're going to find out. But who's, who's in the house right here? That's right. There was a nice punt. Uh, having fun with the lights down here. That is nobody uh, actually doing anything. We just believe it's a little bit of magic happening with the lights. So we're having fun. Are you guys having fun? There used to be, I do a lot of weddings, and I always say, when the crowd gets really quiet when they're eating, that's the sound of a good meal. So, let's give it up for Mission Bistro once again. They're working so hard. They're in and out. Now, once again, silent auction closes in just a few minutes. How are we doing on the grand prize ticket sales? We need f at least five more to get to 4,000, is that it? Okay, that's what I was told. Little Birdie told me, five, if we sell five more tickets, we've raised $4,000 already on the grand prize. That's awesome. Five, four, five more, we need four, five for 100, right? Okay, perfect. So, five for 100, one for 25, it's a great deal as we support the Boys and Girls Club. How are we doing on the champagne flutes? Brian, how are we doing on those? That's right, it's all for the kids. It's all for the kids. How are we doing on the champagne flutes? Okay, they're busy, so I'm jumping off the stage. I'm going to go see what's going on back here now. By the way, Ryan Bradshaw, let's give it up for him. He's keeping the... Uh, He's keeping us sounding good tonight. We're going back here. Step away from the speaker. Step away from the speaker. Okay, Brian, Jewelry Design Center. Let's give it up for him. He is working hard enough. How many have we sold so far? So, so far we've made about $3,000 for the Boys and Girls Club. Yeah. So, we have we're, 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 see, in order to do this song, we want to have all of these sold, which would net $5,000 for the Boys and Girls Club. And, and I gotta tell you, so for me, like I don't like champagne. Um, I like Coors Light. Um, that looks just as good in these glasses as champagne. Amen. And I'll so I'll pour a whiskey in there for you. Or I'll pull a uh, Coors Light for you. I'll pull a water for you or a Capri Sun. Whatever you might want, we'll put that in there for you. It's all for a good cause. You have a one in a hundred chance if you only buy one ticket for a two carat pair of total studs. So that's pretty awesome. Today is September the 13th. That gives us three months and 12 days before Christmas. Gentlemen, come back. Fifty dollars a flute, right? Right. $50 a fruit, and what are they winning again? Two carat, total weight, natural diamonds, not studs, but actually inside out hoops in an oval, so they're phenomenal. And if, that, if you don't like that, you can come in, we can try to work in exchange. That is a pretty slick deal. Brian from the Jewelry Design Center. Brian, thank you. So, once again, by the way, the can's not blue anymore, so I think you need to get a cold a fresh cold one there. So, that's going on. That is a pretty cool deal. Is Evan ready for his next act? That is the question. Evan? Evan Disney. 7.38 on the clock. Evan Disney, back to the stage, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give it up for him one more time. He's got another magical act for us. Once again, 7.38 on the clock. We are seven minutes away from closing the silent auction. Evan, take it away. Seven minutes for your magic. How about that? Yes. 
Let's kick him a big round of applause all the way in from Seattle. Woo! I was actually, I was back with the computers trying to help everybody figure out how we break out the, uh, the numbers. What are the numbers? They're going to be working on that. Sweet. That's my software being run back there, so I was going to tax support. Jay, you've been doing this uh, all four years, I believe, correct? Uh, uh, two years. Oh, two years. years. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. I, you know, this time of the day, this morning radio DJ kind of starts to lose track. A lot of people think I'm off as well, so it looks like we're on. <laughs> you and I have that in common. Jay, once again, join us. Also, Jay, we got a couple things going on. Going on right now, Brian from the Jewelry Design Center. Brian, where are you? There he is in the back. Okay, this is our final call, ladies and gentlemen. For the champagne flutes. Final call for the champagne flutes. If you would like a champagne flute, please raise your hand right now. Some of these people are drinking, they want champagne tubas. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Once again, if you would like a champagne flute, please raise your please raise your hand or your big card so that uh, Brian can make your way. Okay. Right here at the front, we got some volunteers working our way to you. They are working their way to you, thank you. Champagne flute heading your way. Once again, if you want to recap, $50 for one of these champagne flutes, and you can win these fabulous earrings that Brian just talked about. 14 carat total weight, I believe, was the total on that. Do I have that right? I'm doing it off of memory. Okay. Keisha's coming with that, thank you. Okay, while they're doing that, remember at the beginning of the night I said wave at me with your paddle cards, you get a free wave? Jay's going to let you have a free wave, too. So we would like everybody to wave your paddle card at him so he can see you. All right. Yeah, do me a favor. Don't wave them. Hold them steady so I can read them. I want to make sure I can read them. Okay, here we go. 73, I can see you. 140, I see you. 27, I see you. 46, I can see you. Right next to 46 is someone who is apparently very hot. She's panning herself like crazy. That's 122, 17, 53. Boy, this... It's a challenge, but I can handle the challenge. All right, thank you so much. I can see you all. all, all I, here's what I ask. If you'd like to bid, do me a favor. Hold the card up, wave it around. That's fine, get my attention. Once I say sold, hold it steady so I can actually read it, okay? <laughs> all right. Uh, and uh, also, before, we, before Brian introduces the first item, before Brian introduces the first item, I'd like to dispel a myth of auctions. How many of you have been to a charity auction before? Right? Probably this one, right? Good So there's a misconception about auctions. And the misconception is that we make money from a high bidder. We actually make no money at all from a high bidder. We only collect it from a high bidder. We make it from the second, third, fourth, and fifth place bidders because they make sure the high bidder pays appropriately. So when we need it, so we need are a lot of people in second, third, fourth, and fifth place. In other words, we need is a room full of losers that I got. That did not come out the way I got. But we need people to play the game. Just remember, if you aren't the last one, it didn't cost you a nickel, all right? I got what you were putting down. <laughs> let's give it up for Jay. Okay, let's do it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, in your program, right here, We've got several auction items tonight, but there's one item that's not listed. This is a surprise item. Autumn, Cora, 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 did I get it right? Okay, we've got a tray of cocktails. Yeah, how about a little, I want to know what's in the vial. I want to know what's in the vial. Sure, it is. Okay. It is fall. All right, so I guess we're going to sell the the, uh, the two trays, eight drinks, and I guess you're all broken up into eight groups, or I guess one person can buy a drink all eight, and it'll be fine. Your first chance to do something great for our Boys and Girls Club of Missoula County. Who wants to 
the honor of being our very first bidder tonight. Who wants up? Here we go. 10,000 is bid. How about 11,000? How about 11,000? Appreciate the bid of 10. Thanks so much for 10. Or you can wait until I give you a number. That's entirely up to you. Let me save you $9,950 right now. How about $50 a start? $50 is good. Yeah, how about $75? Looking for $75. $75 would be $100 now. Here's $100, $125, would be $150. How about $150? Anyone want $50? $125 would be $150. Hold on, $150 in the front. $150 in the front. $75. $75 in the front. 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 $75 in the $400 is bid, go get $450, it's only $50 more. How about $450? $450 is bid. Great bidding at $450, even better at $5, but it is bid, we got $500 is bid. If you go to $6, you'll probably get it. Go to $6, you'll probably get it. You won't get it at $5, you get it, go to $6. $600 is bid, great bidding at $6. If you go to $7, you'll probably get it. Worked on her. It'd be great if you'd be an eight. You sure? You're a good sport. Thanks for being a loser. Sold $700. We got it for $700. What's your number? Let's see your number. 94. 94. 94. Right, we are off and running. That's a great thing. Would you please give all of our bidders on that round a great thing? They did a great job. Jamie, there we go. Moving into live auction item number one. The Sorcerer's Cozy Quilt. This handmade Harry Potter inspired quilt has attention to detail and enchanting quilt features vibrant iconic designs from the wizarding world, making it a perfect addition to any fan's collection. Cozy up with this one of a kind treasure. The Sorcerer's Cozy Quilt can be yours. It is live auction item number one. Can we bring it to your world? Can we bring the quilt up? Bring the quilt up to your mind. There it is. Look at that. Look at the other side. Isn't that amazing? That is amazing. Holy cow. And you can see it's reversible. When you have guests over, put it one way when they come the first time or reverse it the next time, you'll think you have two quilts. Makes it worth twice as much. All right, here we go. On our first official item, on our first official item in the book, in the book, in the program book, the amazing quilt, let's get a bunch of cards up. I'm only going to ask for $100 to start. $100 to start. $100 to bid. Here's $150. How about $200? Can do it. I'm going to bid now $250. Somebody bid $250. $250. Thank you. Now $3. Looking for $300. Here's $300. Looking for 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 $300. It's way back there. 351. So if you think you've got to put your card up so I know that you're there. There it is. That's number 79. I think is the high bidder. If you think you're the high bidder, you're not 79. You are. So we're at 350. Who wants to go to 400 for this beautiful quote? 350 once. Twice. Last chance. Sold. 350. You got it. 350. 74. 74. The Grizzlies Golden Snitches signed 2023 Grizz football. And that includes gear up for the September 21st game of Grizz versus the Western Carolina Catamounts game with game passes, sideline tickets, and an unforgettable tailgating experience. That's right, enjoy premium seating right on the sidelines. Live auction item number two. Jay, take it away. And I'll tell you what, these tickets are so close to the action, very close, you have to wear special equipment. 
I mean that. This is having the tailgate party. Got a fabulous tailgate party. Got great seats. You get the autograph football. It's a one of the one of the kind of experience. Let's start getting at five hundred dollars now. Five hundred is bid. There's one fifty. How about a thousand dollars now? A thousand dollars is bid. Let's go to twelve fifty. Anyone at twelve fifty? It's worth about twenty five. Twelve fifty is bid. Give me twelve fifty now. Fifteen hundred. Twelve fifty now. Fifteen hundred. Right in the back. Fifteen hundred now. Seventy fifty. How about seventy fifty? Seventy fifty now. Two. Seventy fifty is bid. We go to two. How about two, sir? How about two? Way in the back. You're all four quarters. How about two? How about two thousand? Thanks so much for 2,000. What are you at 2,000? How about 2,250? 2,250 is bit. You'll get into 25. 2,500. Great, let it get 25. Now 2,750. 27. Time for a Nike bit. How about 2,750? 2,750. 2,500 once. 2,500 twice. Last chance. 2,750. Thank you all for it. You got it for $2,500. Congratulations. What's your number? What's your number? 93. Mayor 93. Thank you. All right. It's the Mayor Mystery, a spellbinding who got it for up to eight guests. That's right. Enjoy a delectable four course meal paired with fine wine and coffee. Plus, immerse yourselves in entertaining gameplay with suggested costumes and characters. Your event will be expertly hosted and attended to by a dedicated team for a delightful cocktail hour. Servers capture the moment of a professional group photo in charming historic schoolhouse and elegantly decorated surroundings. This is live auction item number three. Jay, take it away. Right. 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 a couple things you can add. You can update a little bit. If you look at the program book, there's a few things you can add if you like. This year will be at Nine Mile Schoolhouse. The event is at Nine Mile Schoolhouse, okay? Just want you to know where that is, all right? I assume you know where Nine Mile Schoolhouse is. Yes, yes. Beautiful. beautiful. Beautiful Nine Mile Schoolhouse. All right, it's just past Eight Mile Schoolhouse, which is just down the road. <laughs> How about $300 to start? $300, $400, how about $450, now $5? Here's $5, now $550. How about $550 somebody go to $600? $600 is good, not $650. $650, way in the bank, $700 now. How about $700 is good, somebody go to $8? Here's $800, make it $900. How about $900? How about $900? Come on, come on, come on. How about $900? Come on, come on, come on. How about $900? Come on, come on, come on. How about $900? Come on, come on, come on. How about $900? Come on, come on, come on. How about $900? Come on, come on, come on. How about $900? Come on, come on, come on. How about $900? Come on, come on, come on. How about $900? Come on, come on, come on. How about $900? Come on, come on, come on. How about $900? Come on, come on, come on. How about $900? Come on, come on, come on. How about $900? Come on, come on, come on. How about $900? Come on, come on, come on. How about $900? Come on, come on, come on. How about $900? Come on, come on, come on. How about $900? Come on, come on, come on. Let somebody else play. <laughs> Twelve hundred bit. She'd like to bid again. Would you bid thirteen hundred, sir? She missed Pilates today. She's got to get her arm bill one more time. Would you bid thirteen hundred? We got twelve hundred dollars once. Look at my thirteen. Who wants to go to thirteen? Anybody thirteen? Twelve hundred twice. Okay, I'll let you go to thirteen now if you want. <laughs> Sold twelve hundred dollars right here in the front. One three four. Twelve hundred dollars. Great bid. All right. We have got some great bidders in this room. Yes, we this room. It's been just amazing. Give all of you a round of applause. Here we go. We're rocking and rolling. This is the Great Hall VIP Experience coming in by the Boys and Girls Club of Missoula County. The Wizarding World with our VIP table. Transform your evening into a magical experience at our VIP table. An exclusive corner where the wonders of Hogwarts come to life. The specially enchanted table with prime front row seating offers an evening filled with spellbinding, surprising surprises, and wizarding delights. That's right. Enjoy VIP transportation service, magical treats, and a night of unforgettable moments. Live auction item number four: the VIP tables, which are right here, right in front. And just for clarity, this is for next year, ladies and gentlemen, for 2025. But if you pay enough, we'll let you sit at the front tonight after nine o'clock. So <laughs> this is this is for next year. We'll start the bidding at five hundred dollars now. Five hundred to start. For the next year's VIP table, five hundred in the front. How about seven fifty is bid? Thanks so much at seven fifty now. A thousand. One thousand dollars is bid. Let's go to twelve fifty now. How about twelve fifty would bid fifteen hundred? Fifteen hundred dollars now. Here about fifteen hundred. Twelve fifty on my left. Look at the fifteen hundred. We'll sit right up here. Fifteen hundred. Now here's 1500 Thanks so much. 1500 now 7050. Good bidding at 50. We're going to 7050 is bid. How about 2000 Went down 2000 7050 on my left. You're going to 2. Want to go to 2, sir? 2000 Thank you, ma'am. 2000 Now 2250. 2250 now. How about 
20 to 50. 2,000 is bad, somebody go to 20 to 50. 2,000, now 20 to 50. 2,000 once. Once in a lifetime experience, at least in 2025. 20 to 50 is From former friends at the same table. 20 to 50, how about 2,500? Guess who's not going to get an invite next year? 2,500 is bad. Let's go to 2750 now. Great many to 25. 2750 from next year's VIP front table. Anyone at 2750? We have 2500 once. There's a hush comes over. 2700 twice. Last chance, 2750. Don't let money get in the way of your good judgment. Bid 2750. 2750. You're not going to lose it for 250, are you, sir? 3,000 is good. The discussion's getting more. They got, they got a little bonding session going on there right now. 3,000 is good. We bond it. Hold on a second. Sure that you guys get to go home friends tonight. So I'm making an executive decision. I'll probably never get hired again as your auctioneer. This is probably a career decision. But if we do a VIP table on one side and a VIP table on the other side, we kind of get equal billing, which you each be willing to pay three thousand dollars for the two VIP tables. No, then someone's got to go to thirty-two fifty. You don't want to do that, huh? We can invite more of your friends and neighbors next year. That way we can. All right, in that case, we're going to sell it for $3,000. Congratulations, sold at $3,000. One, which one of you got it? I think it was, it was a, was it 21? Who was it? It was 161. 161, that was fun, thank you. That was very nice, thank you guys. Okay, live auction item number five, the Tri-Wizard Retreat. Enjoy a $250 gift certificate to Discovery Ski Area along with a private weekend getaway at a luxurious lake residence at the beautiful Georgetown, near the Georgetown Lake. It's two nights day in a three-bedroom, two-and-a-half bath home, comfortably sleeps 12. It's perfect for a range of activities from skiing and ice fishing to relaxing by the lake in the summer. Now, as your resident meteorologist, it's my job to inform you we're expecting a much snowier winter this year. So, there we go. Steer the light right there. Log action item number five. And it uh, sleeps 12 perfectly. It'll sleep 24 for your really good friends. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Bring your tent. I'm going to start the bidding at $500. Is that okay? $500 is bid, $750. Here's $1,000. $1,250 bid. Here's $1,750. Here's $2,000. Now $2,250. Look at my $2,250. $2,250. Here's $2,250. Here's $2,250. Here's $2,250. Now $2,500. Now $2,500. Here's $2,500. Here's $2,500. Now 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 $2,500.
An exclusive brunch for eight, prepared by the talented kitchen staff at the Den. You can delight in a delectable spread paired with exquisite mimosa flies. Yeah, how about that? All enjoyed in the newly constructed Den with stunning views of Lolo Peak. The special event promises a memorable dining experience with breathtaking scenery. Don't miss your chance to savor this unique brunch offering at a one-of-a-kind location at the dam right there in the South Hills. Beautiful place. All right, I highly recommend it. For eight people now, eight people, how about $300 to start? Let's do something completely different. Hold the phone. I want to try something. I want to have something completely different. Let's play a little game called Auction Chicken. Here's how this works. If you want this, put your card up in the air. Everybody wants it, put your card up in the air. And hold it up. Step on it. Step on it. Okay. Now, everybody else also put your card up in the air. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at $300. I'm going to go up slowly. The last card in the air gets it. If your card goes down and back up, I will ignore you. I have children. I know how to ignore. So keep it up. The last card in the air is called Auction Chicken. Are you ready to play? Here we go. 300, 350, 400, Thank you for playing auction chicken. Gee, that's a new one. In my 20 years of doing auctions, I've never heard of that one, but there we go. Oh, well, I got one or two or more up my sleeve tonight, boy. <laughs> Always keeping us on our toes. Jay, doing a great job. Okay, we are moving on to live auction item number seven. This is the event with Market on Front, catering for up to 10 guests. Perfect for game day, holiday, family gathering. You get to delight in a selection of delectable dishes from the chef's curated menu, crafted to elevate your occasion. That is all donated by Market on Front, the magical Market Meal, live auction night of number seven. Enjoy it, take it away. All right, let's start the bidding at $500 now. $500, how about $600, here's $600, now seven. Here's eight, there's nine, here's thousand, one, eleven hundred, now twelve. Come on, get twelve, we'll thirteen hundred dollars now. How about thirteen hundred? Come on, get twelve, we'll go to thirteen. Here's twelve hundred over to my left, looking for thirteen. The bid is down here at twelve, looking for thirteen hundred. Anyone with thirteen hundred? Last chance of thirteen hundred. Twelve hundred dollars once. Thirteen hundred is good. Let's go to fourteen. How about fourteen? That's going east on us, sir. We do prefer north and south. <laughs> We have twelve hundred dollars once. Twelve hundred twice. Yes or no at thirteen hundred. You got it for twelve hundred dollars. Congratulations. Ninety-two. Ninety-two gets that. Ninety-two. Thank you. Okay, this next one comes to us from Flora Bella. Experience an exquisite evening with curated. Not one, not two, not three, not four, but a five-course Italian wine dinner for twelve at the elegant. Lola Bella. This event features a gourmet menu crafted by the top chefs paired with fun Italian wine that elevate each course and enjoy a night of culinary delights and exceptional service in the stunning setting. If you ask me, that's amore right there, my friend. Live auction item number eight. All right, thanks, Brad. By the way, our good friends at uh, Flora Bella want this to be an all-inclusive happening, so they said they would invite 12 of their friends in case you don't have any. So that's how inclusive this is. How about $500 to start? Here's $500, $750, $1,000, $1,250, $1,250, now $2,000. $2,000, way in the back, $2,250, now $25 is bid. Here's $2,750, now $3,000, here's $3,000, now $4,000, here's $4,000, now $4,000, here's $4,000, now 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 $4,000, it's that way. Thirty-two fifty is bid. Make it thirty-five hundred dollars now. How about thirty-five? Thirty-two fifty is bid once. Make it thirty-five hundred. Love to have thirty-five. Thirty-two fifty twice. Make it thirty-five. You can bring your own twelve people if you want. Last chance. You got it for thirty-two fifty. Congratulations, way to go, Please, nice spot. Let's see the play. Spot is coming out.
My name is Annika Bennett and I work as a site manager at the Boys and Girls Club of Missoula. Um, when I first started at Boys and Girls Club, I was a youth development professional for the last few months of school when I started in February and then like kind of in the summer, kind of I was working as a site manager. Um, I think the key difference between like when I was a youth development professional and a YDP is I was very good at having like a calm presence around the kids and like having that fun time. And then once I was able to have more of a structured environment and confidence to know like this is what we're doing and the activities we're gonna do and lead them through that, that's when I was able to like step up to a site manager position. I like talking to the kids every single day, like seeing what's up. They're always like super enthusiastic like the little random stories that they tell. I adore with my whole heart when they come skipping in. That's brilliant and I love it. I like Annika because her super cute clown costume for Halloween. I like that at Boys and Girls Club, Annika does fun activities. She takes us outside, she lets us draw, she lets us play games, she lets us do a lot of stuff. She treats us very well, and she is like one of the most awesome staff I've ever met. My name is Ellen Wren Elwood, and I go to Boys and Girls Club. I did last year and then a, half, a quarter of like this year. I like to do trivia, and so it, because I get a lot of beats. <laughs> <laughs> the trivia's questions were ideas from Annika. She's really nice and she is kind. She's good at being a counselor. Club is great because like besides just helping out the kids like for me it helped me get to a more like positive mental state because kids are always so positive like it helps helped me to like get in that mind frame myself and then I changed my college major to early childhood education because I want those vibes every day. <laughs> um, I was more of a latchkey kid I think is the term because yes I had a stay-at-home mom but I don't know where she was because I was just letting myself in off the bus so that probably would have been nice to like be, have a place to like go out and socialize with like kids my own age because I also lived in the middle of a field so if I wanted to go see my closest neighbor I was walking like half a mile across the field to go see them which was fun and not sustainable. I think like had I gone to somewhere like Boys and Girls Club I would have had closer relationships with all the people in my school because it was a small school to begin with and so to not know those people on like a personal level is very alienating. So seeing them every single day in a room where it's okay to just be like talking and playing, you're gonna get a different kind of relationship than when you're like hushed tone, not supposed to be talking really because it's in class. I mean, there's definitely like a handful of club members I could bring up as far as like how you can see them change and develop through experience in club. Last year, there was a kid who, she was routinely struggling, I think because she was coming in from classes in a bad mood, she just didn't have the best relationship with her teacher. So we had been working for like multiple weeks on getting her to like feel happy, like here and throughout her day and not get into so many conflicts with her friends. We have these things called Express It books where they basically they can journal and color and it was like perfect for her because she was like such an artist and I think like three days after that I was having a bad mood not her and she comes skipping into club and she goes on a scale of one to ten I am a thousand right now and it was like transformatory like she had the best week ever like switched my mood over and Literally, that's the day where I was like, oh my gosh, should I be in early childhood education? <laughs> Club is, it's not just a place where kids are hanging out and 
kind of biding time until their parents get there. It's making connections and growing as a person through the different activities, whether it's like emotional wellness or STEM or reading. And they're making both healthy peer relationships as well as healthy relationships with their adult counterparts. I think that the care Boys and Girls Club provides is very multifaceted. It's not just for the kids, but it's for the adult and the communities around it as well. We're really creating an impact all around us, wherever clubs are able to develop and start and maintain their position in the community. So all the help we can get from our community in return is so kind and so important.